Hey, what's up, YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome isometric design in Adobe Illustrator. Whether you're just starting out or you're already a pro, this tutorial will help you create stunning isometric art in no time. All right, let's start with the basics. First, we need to create an isometric grid, and guess what? You can do it in under a minute. Grab the line tool and draw a vertical line while holding shift to keep it straight. Now let's duplicate that line. Just click and drag it to the right while holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows. To speed things up, press Command plus D on Mac or Control plus D on Windows to repeat that action multiple times until you get a bunch of lines. Now select all the lines, right click and group them together. Then press letter R on your keyboard to activate the Rotate tool. Then hit Enter to open the Rotate window. Set the angle to 60 degrees and click OK. Do the same thing one more time, but instead of clicking OK, click Copy. And just like that, you've got a perfect isometric grid. I will reduce the stroke thickness a bit low. To clean it up, let's create a rectangle the size of our document. Then select everything, right click and choose Make Clipping Mask. Lock the layer, and now you have a perfect reference grid to start drawing your isometric shapes. Now, let's move on to the fun part of creating isometric left, right, and top shapes. Since we'll be repeating the same steps multiple times, we can save these actions so we don't have to do them manually every time. First, open the Actions panel by going to Window Actions. Click the new set icon and name it Isometric Actions. Now let's start with the left facing shape. Click new action, name it left face and hit record. Select your shape, activate the scale tool by pressing the letter S on your keyboard, press enter to open scale window and select non-uniform. Then you're going to input 82 as horizontal and 70.5 as vertical. You can then activate the Shear tool and input minus 30. Activate the Rotate tool, press Enter, and input minus 30 as well. After that, click on Stop Playing slash Record to stop the recording. This will create your left-facing shape action. Next time, if you want to create left-facing shape, create the shape and select it, Select left face action and click on play current selection. Boom, you got the left facing shape. Following the same method, you will create the right facing shape using a scale tool to input the same information as earlier. Then activate the shear tool and input a 30 degree angle instead of a minus 30 degree. For the rotate tool, we will also input a 30 degree angle. And now we have created the right facing shape and record it for later usage. Finally, let's create the top facing shape. Scale it the same way, then use the shear tool with 30 degrees. For the Rotate tool, enter negative 30 degrees, and there you have it. Your top-facing shape is ready. Now we have our grid and shapes, but how do we move them perfectly along the grid? Moving shapes up and down is simple since it naturally aligns with the grid, but moving them side to side, that's a little different. Here's the trick. Press V to activate the Move tool, then hit Enter to open the Move window. Set Horizontal, Vertical, and Distance to 0, and for Angle, enter either 30 or negative 30 degrees. Now, adjust the distance to move the shape perfectly along the isometric grid. Change the angle and play with the distance. And that's it. You're now ready to start creating amazing isometric illustrations. We will now create this retro Game Boy as an isometric design using what we learned before. 
As always, I prefer to make a sketch beforehand, but it's not necessary. You can take a screenshot to follow along with me. I will also leave you the color codes in the description. First, I place the sketch on the canvas and turn it into a reference layer. Then, I create a new layer and name it Illustration. This is the layer we are going to draw our illustration. Let's set up the stroke for outline. Here I use dark purple as my outline color. Then I will select the pen tool, set the stroke weight as 4 pixels and activate rounded cap and corner options. Begin tracing the sketch while using the grid as a guide. As I showed you earlier, I will move this line using a move tool. You can use direct selection tool to select the line. I will use the direct selection tool here to change the corner radius. You can use a Shape Builder tool to adjust your shape. Select the shapes, activate the Shape Builder tool, hold the Option or Alt on your keyboard, and click on the shape you wish to delete. You can combine shapes just by dragging. Here. For this top part, I will draw all the lines first, and then I will use Shape Builder to create the shapes. Here I use same moving method to move the line and make copies of the line. I will rotate this line to align with the grid. For that, I will activate the Rotate tool, then click on this anchor point while holding the Option or Alt key. Then, I enter minus 30 degrees.
Here I use previously created top face action to convert shape to top face. Finally, let's add some color to our illustration. Let's hide the isometric grid and the reference image. Today, I will use the Live Paint Bucket tool to apply the colors. Before applying color, choose the color swatch from the swatches panel. Then click on the area where you want to apply the color. You can change the color using left and right arrow keys in your keyboard.
As the final step, I add a shadow and background color. This is how to create an isometric illustration in Adobe Illustrator. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on more awesome design tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.